Hey you guys! Happy Vlogmas Day 12! So today I'm going to share my all-time favorite hair care products that I apply on my hair after I take a shower, I wash it, which it needs a good washing today. And then also I want to share how I blow dry my hair. Not that I'm saying I'm an expert by any means. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just thought it'd be super helpful and yeah, maybe this is a new method. You could also try it the next time you blow dry your hair. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get on with the video. All right, so now I'm out of the shower. My hair is cleansed and washed. Now, for the two products that I literally put in my hair every time after I wash my hair, we're gonna first start with the Neon & Co Frizz Fighter. Looks like this. You guys, this smells amazing. Oh my gosh, and all I do is I put in, I think it's either, yeah, you only need one pump because look how much comes out. It's a lot, and I like to rub it between my hands and just add it to my hair mid-length. So nowhere near my scalp, um, just more on the mid and end length of my hair because it is not oily, but I mean, it also advises to do that too. So doing that like this, literally, so, ba bam. Next, I like to take my Briogeo Rosar Coal Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Looks like this. And literally just what it says in the name of it, I like to just spray it in my hair. Like maybe two to three spritz um, on both sides and just leave it in. And now what I like to do because I don't want to immediately go in with my blow dryer. What I like to do is take one of these, I don't know, what do you call these? Like hair caps, hair nets, and wrap my hair in it. I actually learned this method from my mom. So yeah, sorry, I'm gonna look a little silly right now, you guys. And now I look like this. And now that we put both products in my hair, it's really gonna soak it all in, get into my hair, and smell also good. So yeah, I just like to do this for a good like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll see you in 10 to 15 minutes, which will be like a second for you guys. So it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. I let it all soak in. I also, with this hair cap, it soaks out the um, water. So when I blow dry my hair, it, um, it's not as wet and it actually makes a blow drying my hair process a lot faster. So, yeah, now I'm going to hang this back up and let it dry. So now, I like to get the Pantene Heat Primer, which is a thermal heat protectant. Looks like this. And you guys, oh my gosh, all these hair care products that I'm sharing with you guys literally smell so good. Yeah, again, I do like two to three spritz on each side. But yeah, smells so good, <laughs> which I think is like so important, you know? And now I'm gonna blow dry my hair, and this is when I wanna share with you guys how I blow dry my hair, because when I was younger, I wanted to just get it done with, so I would literally turn my head over like this and just blow dry my hair. <laughs> no. <laughs> I literally think that's why I have so many baby hairs and so many frizzies. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. That is not the way to do it. Again, disclaimer, by any means am I saying this is like the right way to do it. I'm not an expert, I did not go to beauty school, but I have noticed like a difference with my hair ever since I started blow drying my hair like this. So what I like to do, get a hair band and section off my hair. So first, I like to just get a little bit out. So okay, I might do it again. And just tie up my hair. It might look a little silly. But yeah, I'm excited for this video, you guys, because seriously, a lot of you always ask me, like, what do you use in your hair? So yeah, I hope this helps. Okay, so I'm using the Revlon blow dryer. I picked it up from TJ Maxx literally like two years ago and I like to use it in the low setting and in the warm setting. I don't know why hot is even an option because y'all that is like burning your hair um, or your scalp but I don't know maybe if you're in a hurry but anyways low setting, warm setting and then I like to point it downwards and just literally comb through my hair 
as I blow dry my hair. Like this. You can also use a brush if you want to, but you know, I just prefer my hands. I'm just coming from my hair and I bring the blow dryer down. And look how nice it already looks. Like what? <laughs> Maybe you guys can see it put on this side. So again, coming through my hair and making sure the nozzle or the front end of this blow dryer is pointed downwards. Not pointing to the side, not pointing like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's how you close breakage in your hair, split ends, frizziness. Like if you get your hair done at the hair salon, you guys see them doing this. And that's I think actually how I learned how to do this. Because I was like, oh, well they must be doing something right. Because whenever I leave the hair salon, my hair looks bomb. I'm like, what did they do that I didn't? So I just kind of implemented what they did. Obviously they always use like a brush. But I think the sample is okay with the hands. And I feel like also sectioning off your hair really helps you get all of your hair dry versus like just a little bit of here and there. Because I don't know about you, but right now it's winter time for me. I do not want to be walking outside with wet hair. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I'm going to catch a cold or I'm just going to feel colder in general, you know? All right. So this part is basically dry. Look, look at it. Look how straight it is just looks nice. So now, what I like to do again, untie my hair, and then section it off again. And I'm just literally doing the same thing over and over again. Now, last thing I like to do, I'm like just about done, is I like to go with the cool setting and low, and then just go over my hair. I've seen like hairstylists do this at the salon, um, and I think it's something about, you know, after you've applied heat on your head, all of your hair follicles are like, ah, you know, freaking out. Um, so adding the cool air on your hair just like helps close it up and I don't know. There's like some science to this, but I've heard it's really healthy to put some cool air after you blow dry your hair. So yeah, just do that. And voila, that is my hair. What I like to do actually I'm going to take a little bit of the Mark Anthony Frizz, Bye Bye Frizz actually, Protecting Leave-In Conditioner. Also do like two spritz. Do, 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 do. Just go a little bit in the front, just a little bit, because we don't want it to look oily. And a little bit on the top. And just the rest, brush it in. And if you're curious, I do use a hair mask once a week, and I like the Brie OGO Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I got this last year. This is actually my second tub. I got this, no, earlier this year, and I used it up so quick. <laughs> I was addicted to it. But yeah, this is what my hair looks like after we blow dried it and put in all the products.
All right, you guys. Well, that concludes the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my hair products, how I use them, as well as how I blow dry my hair. I hope you guys found this video very helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Happy Vlogmas Day 11 again. Or is it 12? 11, 12. I think 12. <laughs> my bad. And yeah, hope to see you in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye.